Blue at Art Friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. Welcome to my channel, or if you're a returning viewer of Awesomeness, welcome back to my channel. But even my new ones are viewers of Awesomeness. Anyway, today's video is I'm going to turn these cabochons into necklaces. I'm going to show you. The only thing I am not going to show you is how I dip them. Here is one that stuck on a stick that I dipped the other day, okay? All you need is you need something that's foam. Mine mine is just a makeshift um type of type of rack. I'm serious. It's just a di uh, silverware divider that I put foam blocks in the bottom. And then all you do is is you get you get some of this. It comes in many different brands. Um, here's an easy stick you can get. Um, but you can all, I'm going to put the link down below to these and to the skinnier ones. And all you do is make a little, a little, um, piece, roll a piece and stick the stick into it. And then you put this on the back, on the front of the cabochon. So when it's here let me show you when when it's so that way you can dip it and then stick it back in the rack and then let it dry and but what I'm going to show you today is how what I do to turn them into necklaces this is what I like to use to stick them into the bezel trays that is what, here, let me get one out. I don't even have one out. Oh, no. That is what these are called. They're called bezel trays. There's another one called open bezel. You don't want that one, okay? I'll ignore that right there. Okay. What this is, is you're going to put some of this right here. And I forgot my toothpick. Well, I can use the end of this little stick. You're going to put a couple drops in here, and then you're going to smooth it all the way around and stick your cabochon in there. But before you stick your cabochon in there, you want to check the edges. I don't know if this is focusing or not. You want to check the edges to make sure you've got all the dried paint off. Yep, see, there's a spot right there. If you have a hard time with your fingernail, if you don't have any fingernails, some people keep them really short. You can use an X-Acto knife. You be very careful. All you're doing is just scraping that paint off of there. And yeah, I know I don't have gloves on, but I'm being very, very careful with how I scrape it. You're just scratching the paint off of the edge. And that looks pretty close. And because I'm not wearing gloves, you want to have a soft rag handy to clean the oils off of stuff that you're using. Now, this pack I got from China. Um, it's got quite a few different shapes in there. But what it is, is they're all for the 30 by 40 millimeter cabochons. Now, I'm going to put links down below to the sizes I'm using, too of these on Amazon because Amazon's got, Amazon's got some too. I just don't mind waiting for the slow boat from China when I order from AliExpress. So you can see I got all different kinds. Okay, so let's stick all these over here. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just wipe this off in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to kind of shine this up on the front a little bit but I'm making sure I wipe the back now you want to make sure your cabochons have been dry for at least a week okay and I'm just getting rid of all the oils on the back now I'm gonna bring this up um, if I remember right uh, yeah I don't have okay this diamond glaze works really good to keep them in there once it's dry it says you can um you can mix it with water i'm going to open it i'm going to dip my stick in there get some on the stick and then basically what you want to do is 
is you want to get a thin layer. I don't know if you can see here. Let me see if I can hold it sideways so you can see where the layer is at. You want to get a thin layer over the whole bottom edge all the way up to the edges. Okay. And I mean you can you can do it this way. Um trying to find a way to to here I'm gonna put this on the edge because I don't want it to stick down on anything. And let me move that over so I don't I can put the lid back on this. Um okay now I've wiped all the oils off of this. I'm holding it by the edges. Now this one has a definite top and bottom. So you want to make sure you put the top in there where the where the hanger's at, okay? Then what you do is I'm picking it up with my soft cloth so I don't get any oils from my fingers on there. And you basically want to push it down in there. You can wipe around the edge just a little bit. If there was like a little bit of overrun when you push the cabochon in there, okay. Now this one, I'm not going to be able to put a chain on because I really don't like moving them. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to take one of these that doesn't have a cabochon. And I also wanted to show you something too. Some of them got side holes. Some of the holes are straight. This one, your chain can fit through. Hopefully your chain is thin enough. You, um, once you once you buy the um, um, chain and the um, and the open bezel trays, what you're gonna have to do is uh, let's see where does this open at. I got this one at Walmart. This pack of chain at Walmart, and of course it's gonna be uh, hard to open. Uh, let me just get in there with my little wire cutters and cut through the wire that's holding it. There we go. Okay. And of course I'm trying to find the end of the chain and I can't find it. So I'm just going to cut the rest of it off. This is held on by a wire twisty tie. So I'm just cutting through it. Okay. Now you're going to need the chain. And we will find out here in a minute. And I'm pretty sure the chain will go through. When, the, when it's got a side hole like that. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. When it's got a side hole like that, you can feed, feed it through like that. Okay. When it's got a front hole like this you're going to need some rings now these are not um um i'm trying to remember that okay these are jump rings they're not split rings okay basically you're going to open them off and you're going to use them to connect it to that but first let me cut this i cut most of my chain at 18 inches okay so 18 inches is right here so all you do and you can be a little over you can be a little under too I prefer to be over than under so this is roughly where 18 inches is and at. then I use my little wire cutters to cut the next link in there that's just going to be thrown away ah uh, trying to bring it up to show you and I don't even have it in the wire cutters you're basically just cutting through the link that you that you're going that that you're going to get rid of okay there we go okay and now I got to get rid of this half link right here because I accidentally put a ring uh uh a ring on it once and of course it was already cut through so it broke there we go I'm sure are to attach it to the chain 
because you're going to end up putting the ring through that little hole and also through the through the end um, ring on your chain to connect them. So basically, hang on a second. I have long nails and it's hard to pick up little things off the cable. Up, oh, drop it. Okay, you what you want to do is is you want to find where the openings at. And I usually use two pairs of pliers to do this. Basically, you want to grab both sides on either side of the opening and you want to pull it this way um, not straight away from each other but sideways see this is not easy to do on camera come on sometimes yeah the me sometimes the metal soft enough okay so hopefully you can see that I know it's hard to see you just want to hold both sides of the ring with the opening at the top and do it this way sideways then you're going to put the end of the chain in there and then you're going to put your clasp on it too okay there we go now what you're going to do is is you're going to bend them back together reason I tell people to do it this way to bend um, from side to side is because if you bend it bend the two parts open like this like a clamshell you're going to end up getting a weak spot in the middle of the metal and you don't want that okay when you get it back together then you want to use your pliers to make sure that there is no opening in there. And I got to hold it real close to me because, believe me, I have a hard time seeing it too. Okay, there's that end. Okay, now let me see. Let me see if this clasp will go into this ring. If not, I'll have to add another ring to it, which is not a big deal, but if I don't have to, I don't have to, you know. Okay, so you open your clasp, and then, yep, it goes right into the ring. Okay, so now I got a chain on this, and later when I, well, I can do it now, um, and that's basically all there is to it. Um, you want to make sure you've got a clasp. You want to make sure you've got some sort of a ring. If it doesn't come with the if it doesn't come with the clasp, you have to buy it. Here's a pack of clasps I bought that didn't have it, and here's a pack of rings. Okay. I'm just lucky that the little uh, packet of clasps that came with the chain had rings in it too okay so now I'm going to find yeah there it is um, well first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it off clean all the oils off of it and there's going to be some parts of this video that will be edited out because of me being ill prepared not having all the tools I needed right here and having to go hunt them up. Okay, let's see which one. Uh, I kind of like this blue and pink one right here. So, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to buff it up the front to get rid of the oils and the back to get rid of the oils. I'm going to check the edge. And, yep, yeah, okay, before I clean it anymore. I got a little bit of paint right here on the edge so you just use your exacto knife very carefully just scraping the paint away because even I don't care how long it's been dried it'll scrape off of here pretty easy it's almost like um peeling potatoes 
Anybody can remember back when we used to peel potatoes like this, back before all the potatoes came in boxes. <laughs> add water, add butter. <laughs> okay, so that's all you do is you clean that and just put my glasses down and then you clean this okay on both sides now I'm gonna put it down right here because I'm gonna pick it up by its edges so all I'm gonna do is basically Put a small layer of this and make sure it gets all the way up to the edge and that it's kind of even and if it happens to come out whoops well I guess I'll just leave a stick in there like that um okay so what you want to do is first you want to look at it and you want to see well which way is going to be top and I think this looks good for the orientation okay then you basically push it into the tray and then I use the rag to squeeze it together and I also use the rag a little bit just to wipe around the edge just in case you had too much in there now this should be dry in 24 to 48 hours and ready to be worn and I love this it's got a little thing on the back I will put links to everything that I'm using the um, the equivalent of it on Amazon now and I'm gonna be giving one or two of these away um, some of the hearts too I'm gonna do some of the hearts now that I got all this stuff out um, so if you have any questions about what I did or about um, if you want to um, shoot me an email with a link to something hey will this work by all means do that okay I have no problem in in looking at different um, things um, there's a couple of uh, jeweler supplies I use online that have really really good stuff like um, um, what is it uh, fire mountain gems they have some really really good stuff in stainless steel and also in the heavy metals like or the the good metals like sterling silver and um, there's there's all kinds of places online and of course you can always go to um, AliExpress but please remember when you order from AliExpress it's coming from China so all I can say is I hope that you learned something I've been doing jewelry since 19 oh let me think 1989 I had to think for a minute and I used to make these in the magnets but believe it or not people say they got too many magnets as it is so I said jewelry that's why I had all the jewelry at my at my um auction um on the 20 29th I think it was or 28th the last Saturday in October I did a Susan G Komen auction so thanks for coming out to watch I'll answer any and all questions I promise and I love the fluid arts right out of you guys you guys are awesome hope you learn how to make jewelry and all I can say is and this is for Matt and Bentley bye for now love you Bentley